Do you want to know how to take your new VA to the next level in sourcing success? Well, today I'm going to share with you what we've done in month two for new VAs from the VA Academy that has actually changed our VAs and delivered massive results. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. Now, right now I'm on a mission to do one million pound in my Amazon business and I've got a team of seven VAs in my Amazon business in the UK who are helping me get there. Now, in addition to this, we run Fast Track FBA whereby we help and support other clients with their VAs and also hire and train VAs for their businesses. Now, everything I'm gonna talk about today is from what we have learned, not only in my own business, but also with other people. So enough about me, what are we gonna talk about today? First things first, number one, I'm gonna to talk to you about what you need to adjust in your VA playbook ready for month two. Number two, I'll share with you how to identify improvements in your VA deal analysis process. And finally, number three, I'll share with you some top tips which are just gonna help you out. So. Now, first thing first, this video is part two of a three-part mini-series of helping you scale your Amazon business with VAs. And in particular, this is about the just getting started with your VAs. So before you watch this video, do make sure you check out my month one video, which is the first part in the link above. I'll drop a link above so you can watch that. Just gonna give you that foundation knowledge. But if you've watched that, let's jump into today's content. So first things first, number one, why do you need to adjust your VA playbook for month two? Well, we are making this video quite simply to support our VA Academy clients, but also other people with VAs, people like you who maybe have hired a VA themselves. Now, first things first, you might want to ask why you are needing to adjust the way you work with your VA in month two. Why can't I just keep doing what worked from day one during month one? Well, fundamentally, your VA should now be much better aligned with your deal criteria, and they should start now having a good understanding of the details of why a deal is good or why it might still be rejected. Now, statistically speaking, the number of deals that you should be getting from your VA should be changing from two to five deals which are purchasable per day in month one. Now to month two, we're moving to five to eight purchasable deals per day. Now remember, the aim for month two, and the goal we're looking for, is five to eight purchasable deals per day on average. Now, if you are getting this, then you are doing really well. And this is the result we are looking for. Okay. Now in month two, what you need to be focusing on is creating alignment between you and your VA. Now, quite simply, your VA can source deals, but maybe not to the quantity or the quality that you need. Right now, it's about really improving that quality. And how do we do that? We create alignment. Now, you as a business owner, you are already successful at sourcing great deals in your business. And what you are now doing is supporting your VA, aligning with them to help them not only support a great number of deals, but also do a great deal analysis process that's gonna give you top quality deals. Now, one really important part of creating alignment within your business is the deal analysis process. How you analyze deals might be different to how the VA analyzes deals. So instead of just watching you do deal analysis all the time, what we're gonna do is get the VA to do deal analysis themselves during your live calls. Now, you might be asking, why is this change important? Well, what you're trying to do is to spot what you are seeing versus what the VA is seeing. Now, instead of telling them what you like and what you don't like about the deal, what you're doing is you're listening to what they are saying and what they're not saying, and then later on asking them questions about what you've heard or did not hear. Now, the result is you are trying to create a conversation around the differences between how you are analyzing deals and what you are seeing in the deal and what a VA is seeing in the deal. You are quite simply trying to create that alignment when reviewing deals so that you get the same result. Now, by creating this alignment and understanding how you do the deal analysis process, it's going to help your VA analyze and source better deals, which are going to help your business. So if after month one, they are still struggling with the same problems, or maybe the deal analysis just isn't up to standard and the quality isn't where it needs to be, what I recommend for you is stop telling them what they need to do. There is no point in always telling someone what they need to do if they haven't understood it after a couple of weeks. 
As the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So stop telling your VA what to do and start getting them to understand what they need to do. To put it simply, stop talking, start listening. Now let me share with you the trick that I do with my VAs to create alignment that's going to help improve the number of deals that they deliver and the quality of the deals as well. Now before I jump into the trick that is working for us and all our other clients in the VA Academy, what I will say is if you are thinking about hiring a VA, look no further than the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. This is a service which I created whereby we are hiring, training and supporting VAs with their clients for 12 weeks in their businesses. Why? So they can get results. We are doing at least 30 VAs every single month and we're having clients come back for not one, not two, not three, not four, but five VAs. Why? Because they are seeing the power that we can support them with and the results that they are getting. If you are interested in getting a sourcing VA and just maybe want to know more, feel free to have a look down below. I'll drop a link to a free 30 minute consultation call that you can have with one of my teams. It's going to help you understand whether the Fast Track FBA VA Academy is right for you and how we can add value to your business. Trust me, I think it'll be the biggest change that you'll ever have in your business. Have a look down below. Now, this leads me nicely on to number two, how to identify improvements in your VA's deal analysis process. Now, I mentioned it earlier, the trick here is to figure out where your VA is struggling in that deal analysis process. Now, you are changing this process from you reviewing the deals to your VA now reviewing the deals. So stop telling them what you like about a deal and what you don't like, and it's now time for them to tell you and for you to start listening. And what you're doing is you're listening to what they are saying and what they are not saying, and you're trying to understand what they don't understand. Your job then is to support them during the training and review sessions by asking questions which are going to help them in further their understanding. Now, the aim of this process is to understand their sourcing strategy and their deal review process, because what you are doing is you're trying to look to see if there is something fundamentally wrong in the way they are doing their analysis or if they're missing something. And the only way you can spot this is through listening and asking great questions. Now, what you're trying to do during this process is pick up on things that maybe they're getting wrong or perhaps maybe they're not saying. And what you're trying to do here is not tell them that they're wrong, but what you're trying to do is ask them questions about it and to explore their understanding. Now, it is only by asking questions that you can start to open up their mind, allowing them to see things that maybe they didn't see or maybe change their way they're doing the analysis and their mindset. This is the way you get them to start thinking about the deal analysis process and all the components differently and align them with the same thinking that you are. So how do you do it? How do you create this alignment? Let's go through it now, the step-by-step -step guide that's going to support you. So first things first, number one, jump on a video call with your VA, cameras on, do the five minute water cooler talk that we talked about in month one. And after you've established that relationship, define the goal for the call, five to eight deals in month two, and then define that they are now going to be doing a deal analysis process. So make sure that they share their screen with you and get them to go through each deal during the analysis. Now, your job is to listen and to watch how your VA is reviewing the deal. Now, I really recommend watching how they structure their review process or their deal analysis process. Why? Because the idea is you want to make your VA follow a specific and clearly defined deal review process that you have that is going to speed up their deal analysis and also get make sure they're doing the right things. Now, I just talked about a clearly defined deal analysis process, and I'd say for you, you should have a clearly defined deal analysis process that you're doing in your mind. But don't worry if you don't, I'll drop a link up here to a previous video I've done where I talk about my deal analysis process step by step that you can use to support your deal analysis and your VAs. Check that out. It's going to help you out. Now, a simple structure that I go through in my business with my VAs and I ask them to do the deal analysis is number one, hazmat and eligibility. Number two, I'll get them to do the profit and ROI calculation. And then finally, jumping over the keeper chart to analyze the buy box price, the sales rank and the competition over time. 
Now, following that structure, it just allows me to guide or my VA to guide me through the process that they're doing for the deal review process. Now, if I notice any points or if you notice any points in the structure that your VA is maybe missing, and then voila, you now are able to spot maybe something that your VA is not understanding properly or that maybe they do differently and needs further improvement in the deal analysis process. Now, when you spot these issues or these opportunities, it is now time to ask open questions to improve the learning and development of your VA in their deal analysis process. So for example, let's say for example, the sales per month isn't really that great of the deal that they're showing. Instead of saying, oh, the sales per month are crap, what we can do instead is ask some open questions what, when, how, why, who is going to support their learning and development. Now, for example, in this case, sales a month, what I might ask is, hey, how many sales a month is this listing currently doing? I'll wait for my VA's answer, then I'll proceed to maybe ask, okay, great. And what, what's the competition at the moment on the listing? And I'd be like, fantastic. And then I'll ask them, okay, well, how many of them are on the buy box sharing the buy box? And then once I know that answer, I'd ask going, well, now we know how many listing sales are there and we know how many people are gonna be competing against, how many sales a month would we get if we joined that listing? And what I might spot by asking these questions is that the VA doesn't understand something in that deal analysis process. And then what I can do is I can jump in with further training and development to support them in their deal analysis and hence create alignment. Now, it is because of asking open questions and listening to the results and able to isolate the problems where your VA or my VA is struggling. And as a result, what we can now do is come up with a focused and concrete action plan to support our VA in developing them and understanding their deal analysis process and supporting them to become more aligned with how I do my deal analysis process. That is just gonna get you more results and better deals. Now, the result of this is that they're gonna go away during the deal analysis process without you, but they're gonna do it to the same standard and they're gonna bring better quality deals to the table and maybe spot opportunities that they previously would have rejected, hence more deals as well. Now, this leads me nicely onto number three. What are my top tips for you in month two with your new VA? So, first things first, if you are struggling with your VA, feel free to reach out to the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. That is if you've purchased your VA through us. Why? Because you've got that full 12 week support whereby we'll jump in and give you one-to-one -one aftercare with your VA to get them on track, making sure they're sourcing right and doing deal analysis right as well. Now, if the VA is meeting the deal purchase requirements, then you can reduce the frequency of the meetings. Previously, we talked about in month one, having a meeting every single day, five days a week. But hey, if they're getting the deals and they're giving good quality, maybe you can reduce it down to three times a week, maybe less if you are getting the quantity and the quality that you need. But what I will say, if the number of purchase deals per day decreases, then increase the frequency of those calls, really to get a response to say, hey, we need more deals and I'm increasing the frequency to have more contact because we're not getting the results we need. Now, number three, what I would say is don't look at performance per day, but rather look at it per week as an average. We all have good days, we all have bad days, but if the average of the counts, not one day's performance, keep that in mind when you're doing your analysis. Now, finally, number four. Now, number four, give them freedom. We want to support them and we want them to also as well make mistakes. We said it in month one, we need to allow them to make 15% of the time make mistakes. Why? Because that is the optimal strategy for them to learn and to develop as fast as possible. Mistakes are just part and parcel of the learning process. So give them freedom, support them, and expect that mistakes are gonna happen. That is just learning. Now, number five, recognize success and celebrate great behaviors to build confidence and reinforce great actions from your VA. And I cannot stress this enough. Recognize and celebrate that success. Make a point of every single call ending on high through recognition and celebration of something you really liked. You want your VAs to feel great and enjoy working in the business. And it's you who makes that happen. Now, number six, communicate, communicate, communicate. I say it time and time again, but do it all the time. We use Skype and Slack in our business and they are the tools that we use to help communication. It's super, super important. Now, number seven, finally, ask open questions. 
what, when, how, why, who. They are the framework for asking great questions, which get great answers. And because you're listening, you can then support your VA in really creating alignment, getting great results and great deals. Now, what I will say is great job for you supporting your VA in month two, leveling up. This is all about strategy and alignment. And remember what I said is don't look at the performance per day, but look at it over a week of an average you are seeing the trend in growth and improvement. Give them the freedom to make mistakes because they're gonna learn and recognize and build success and confidence within your VA. This is just gonna build a great business where you get great results and you know what? great revenues and great profits. Now, what I will say is you are gonna be smashing month two, getting great results with your VA, but if you wanna see what you should be doing in month three, check out the video around here. That is just gonna support you even further. But hey, what I will say is if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. But for me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA and the VA Academy, thank you very much. Keep smashing those results.